Hi, welcome to the Organic Gardener's Pantry at gardenerspantry.ca. My name is Phil and today I'm going to be talking about activating EM. And activating EM is a process much like yogurt where you take a little bit and you can make a lot more. And that's the reason we primarily do it is to save money because we can actually take a liter of this mother culture and turn it into 20 liters of activated EM. Uh, but another main benefit of doing it is that the microbes in the mother culture tend to go dormant over time uh, and when we activate it we wake them up and get them metabolizing. So the process to do a basic activation is really simple. All you need is a, a bottle with a screw top lid so you can keep oxygen out. Um, you don't want a glass bottle, you want something that can take a little bit of pressure. So I'm using a one liter plastic bottle today. Then we need uh, blackstrap molasses, unsulfured and preferably organic. It provides car primarily carbohydrates for the microbes, food for the microbes, but also has vitamins and minerals. And blackstrap is really important to use. It seems to have the right characteristics uh, to make the process work really well. Then we have our EM mother culture, which could be EM original or EM plus. And then we have some fairly hot water. Um, I usually started out at around 115 Fahrenheit. It's not that hot today. It doesn't have to be, but it's just good partially to help dissolve the molasses, uh, but also just to give the microbes some warmth because they like it to be warm. Tap water works fine. They can actually handle the chlorine, but if you can let it sit out for 24 hours to dechlorinate it, that would be better. And uh, if you have chloramine in your water, then you have to use humic acids or ascorbic acid to tie that up. Uh, if you have spring water or well water, that's even better. So to start the process, um, the ratio is one part molasses to one part EM to 20 parts water. So for the one liter bottle, it's going to be 40 milliliters of molasses, which I already have ready here. So I'll just dump that in there. And I'll get a little water in there right now to a little bit of the wa hot water to help dissolve it. I'll shake it up a bit, but I'll do it, shake it better later. Now there are uh, some extra ingredients that really improve the process. They make a nicer EM, they make it uh, an EM that can store longer, and, and it's just, it makes it better all around, and I always do it. I'm not going to do it today just to uh, save a little bit of time, and because I talk about these things in more detail in another video, but I'll just introduce you to them quickly. The first is a ceramic powder. Uh, a quartz base that's infused with EM and it works on an energetic level to help structure the water for the for the fermentation. Next is a, a rock dust, a glacial dust or a volcanic dust which provides a, a bunch of minerals and you can use half a tablespoon of that. And then we have various liquids from the sea that I'll talk about in, in another video but there's a sea minerals product, uh, there's a liquid kelp product and there's a liquid fish product and they each provide lots of different things, uh, minerals and proteins and other bioactive substances and hormones and all kinds of stuff. So I highly suggest using that in the activation. But for today, I'm just going to do a basic one. And so the next step is to bring in my one part EM. Uh, I've actually learned that if you can bring in more like 1.25 parts or even more, the process will go, it's just there's a better chance of success. Uh, so today I'm going to put 50 milliliters in instead of 40. And then I just add the rest of the water. And that is easy. So I'm going to shake it up really well. Uh, I don't want to shake it too hard, but I do want to make sure everything gets mixed really well together. You'll be able to see that there's about a 10% airspace on top, which is one of the tips I've learned doing this over the years. Although the process is largely done without oxygen, it's anaerobic, it's a fermentation. There are aerobic microbes in there, especially in the beginning of the process, and they like to have a little air. So I like to leave the top, uh, I like to leave 10% at the top. And actually another tip I've learned is to leave the lid off for the first 24 hours just to get some air in there. In terms of storing it, it's highly beneficial if you can keep it warm for the first couple of weeks or even the first few days if that's all you can do. My favorite way of doing it 
with something this small is to do it in the oven with just the oven light on and that gives me the 95 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit that the microbes really like to uh, when it's warm they metabolize more so the process goes much more quickly and it's just a better EM and you have a better chance of success so if you if you can keep it warm in the oven or even on any kind of a heat source or in a warm part of your house the process can be done in as early as a, a week or even less but even then I always like to leave it for personally for at least a month it'll just improve over time and get higher and higher in antioxidants and all kinds of benefits so you can use it after a week but preferable to uh, leave it longer if you're doing it at room temperature uh, you're going to want to leave it for at least a couple of months it takes a lot longer what I like to do is um, make several of these at once and whenever I'm ready if I want to start using my first one after a couple of weeks or a month I top off the rest and get them full all the way to the top and then they I can store them for a lot longer uh, totally anaerobically without air and if, if I particularly if I've done a really good activation keeping it warm using these materials it can last for many 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 months if you just do a simple activation uh, you, you probably want to start using it uh, after within a month after you start uh, you know start using it so that's the basic process of making EM it's really it's really easy for some, I've, I've learned a few sort of expert tips over the years, and if you want to learn some, some of those tips, you can go to my website, which is www.gardenerspantry.ca, and read my activation instructions. Um, also, I have lots more information on the site about EM, lots of information about these ingredients, and there's also a video on how to use the EM. But that's it uh, for today, so I, I thank you very much for watching. My name is Phil. And I hope you enjoy activating your EM.